hi, this is Holly Nicole. Um, I've never really done videos like this before, so um, granted, I have friends that have been pushing me to do this because they think I would be good at this. So today we're going to make it kind of simple. We're going to do an unboxing video. Um, a friend of mine is a representative for Mary Kay. I just want to say right now that I am not sponsored by Mary Kay. Um, uh, all the products that I'm going to be unboxing today, I have purchased other than the items that my rep and friend um, sent as kind of like a consolation or kind of like as an I'm sorry because my package was shipped a little bit late um, due to the pandemic and stuff. She thought she shipped it, but turns out it just completely forgotten, overlooked by accident. So anyways, um, one thing I do have to say, I do appreciate all of you who view this video. Um, if you want to see some more of my goofy, crazy antics that you'll probably see in future, just go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you would like to do. So here it goes. Um, one thing that I do know about um, packaging, like a lot of people are looking at like how it looks and stuff when it arrives, like the peel, the curb appeal or whatever. That lets you know like you've got a nice surprise kind of coming in. Um, what I've noticed about Mary Kay, sorry, it's gonna kind of hide my face a little here, is the packaging always has that lovely signature pink, Mary Kay pink. And like, if you notice, like they even decorate the outside of their boxes. I mean, come on, most places, they don't really decorate the outside of their boxes that you receive in the mail other than like maybe a few I've noticed of like sugar pill cosmetics and um, Jeffree Star sometimes. Um, but this one, I just, I noticed I'm not a fan of the color pink, but it, it's eye catching. Like you see pink package, it's Mary Kay. Um, and then like inside, granted, she made sure to give me some biodegradable packing peanuts here. Um, at least they dissolve. So, I mean, that's kind of a big thing for me. I'm big about, you know, biodegradable and like things being recyclable and stuff. And though I've been kind of backsliding on it, I feel bad. Just only recently found out that, you know, we have a huge recycling bin. So anyways, and more than what I thought could be recycled is recyclable. So gonna be working on that. <laughs> anyways, so enough of that um if you notice like on the inside too it's still got more of that signature pink but it's like hello gorgeous i know it looks backwards on the thing here um and then it for our latina folks hola bella so um anyways so i originally ordered um because i mean you can't really tell right now but i have issues with like my pores because believe it or not i'm older than what i look um, I, as you get older, sometimes like your pores will, will get larger or more predominant and visible and stuff. So I'm kind of self-conscious about that. Um, cause a lot of times I don't wear foundation or like primer and all that stuff that's like supposed to blur that. So, um, I ordered the charcoal mask and I think I ordered, I can't remember what the other thing I ordered was, but it's stuff to help reduce your pores. So, and this was at her recommendation. Um, but as I said, she mentioned that she would get me some extra goodies here. And we got ourselves a lovely little face towel. Look at that. And it's so cute. It is so cute. Almost looks like it's going to wink at you. So, and let's just take a look at this thing a little bit further. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, it, it feels kind of like a... Oh my goodness, that's got like a little hook on it to hang it up. And it says Mary Kay on it, of course. So it's kind of a, it, it feels like, you know, those, those facial wipe claws that you get. Um, they're a little bit on the rougher side, but still gentle for the skin. So it's not like it's going to like be like sandpaper to the skin. Um, but at the same time, it's not like real plush that it'll like stick to like your eyelashes or whatever and leave like lint on your eyelashes. So I love that. Um, but yeah, I love, I especially love how it's got like the, the embroidery on it. It's so cute. Um, but anyways, while I'm doing this, I just wanted to say a shout out to 
one awesome Mary Kay rep. Jeanette, thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> And your ever generosity, because I mean, like, just seriously, because we've got, this is, this is one of the items that I paid for. The towel I did not. That was like an extra freebie or whatever. But, um, I got the deep cleansing pore mask, which is supposed to help clean out the pores. Um, so that way you don't have too many issues with like blackheads and stuff or like impurities. And then, uh, let's see here. And then uh, for like minimizing the pores, I got the, I got this, this was the one that I couldn't remember what it was exactly. Um, it's the TimeWise Pore Minimizer, um, according to like what I've read, like there's some pretty good reviews about it, but um, we'll definitely update you later as to how good it works, um, as well as like with the mask and stuff. So um, let's see here, I'm going to look inside these boxes. So, as I said, like the TimeWise Deep Cleansing Charcoal Mask. Oh, and it looks like a pretty decent sized bottle. I mean, granted, you are going to pay for quality, not so much quantity. Um, because, like, what she did tell me was, is you don't need a whole lot of this stuff. And some of this stuff, you only need to use it, like, maybe two to three times a week. Um, sometimes even less. It just depends upon, like, you know, how bad your um issue areas are and I like to do combination masks I love them because I have combination skin so it's like certain parts of my face are really dry and then certain parts of my face are really oily and like my nose around like my my under eye area is where I have the issues with like oils and my pores so this is definitely going to come in handy for that um and as I said we'll definitely update you later as to how well that works and then the pore minimizer, it's supposed to be almost like, I think she said it's supposed to be something like a um, moisturizer while at the same time it's supposed to help reduce your pores. Um, but yeah, and, and the good thing is, is a lot of like this time-wise stuff, it's supposed to be good for sensitive skin. I mean, you get this cute little pink bottle. I mean, again, I'm not a fan of pink, but I mean, as long as it works, I don't care what the color of the bottle is. So... Anyway, so we've got that, and then, um, ooh, more freebies. Woo! What do we have here? Oh, okay. Um, so she's been posting a lot about, um, this mascara. It's supposed to be, like, um, just as good as, like, uh, what is that brand? I'm really having a hard time, and I even use the brand. That's the worst part. Um, better than sex lashes or better than sex mascara. I think it's by Too Faced. Um, but anyways, so I love Too Faced mascara. I mean, especially if you get the better than sex and waterproof, it's like, it's not only it's like waterproof, but it's sweat proof, cry proof. It's like almost everything proof. I wore it to my friend's wedding and she, she also had it and it was in the middle of summer. And it was outdoors. There wasn't much wind. It was hot as can be. And like our makeup still was was fantastic because like I made sure to do a lot of research and stuff. But anyways, so this is the Lash Love Fanorama um, mascara. It's supposed to be like a really nice um, fiber uh, mascara, I think is what it is. Um... But yeah, it's supposed to like, you know, amp those babies up so that way you don't really need those false eyelashes. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I love false eyelashes, but I just, I can't wear them for very long. Otherwise, I end up like practically tearing out my eyelashes in general. So um, this should be really nice and again, cute little pink tube. And I mean, again, I'm not a fan of pink. Pink is like the, the stinky color for me. I like, I like different colors. I'm not, I don't like those really girly colors. Um, but if it works, I mean, I will be ecstatic. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm always like wanting to try out new products and try a new, try something that's better than like the last one. And then, ooh, 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 
she told she she told me that I had my pick if I wanted something that was like fun and colorful or if I wanted something that was like more um what was the word that she used something colorful or something useful and I said to her surprise me well Jeanette you sure did surprise me I mean I wasn't even expecting this much I mean I I I'm completely surprised and then um she sent me a travel size of the Satin Body Indulgent Shea Wash, which apparently, like, this is supposed to be really nourishing for the skin, this stuff. And again, it's it's supposed to be um, safe for sensitive skin. So that's what I like about this stuff is a lot of it they keep in mind um, people who have sensitive skin. So, and oh my goodness, there's more in here. Oh, good Lord. Oh, and she did send some color too. Um, she sent me a little mini sample of um a couple of things here um firming eye cream i mean i'm down for that anything that helps keep them lovely little crow's feet away we're good but um she also sent me it looks like a gel semi matte lipstick tester in the color what color is it very famous so this should be interesting. And oh, it's it's like one of my kind of like I don't know if you can see see, but it's um it's a nice little dark, like of course, berry color, but I like those dark colors. I like bold colors. Um, because I mean I like to play around with color in general. Um, except pink. I, I'm not a fan of pink. I know I sound like a broken record, but yeah. And then, ooh, what's this? What's this? <gasps> oh, this is my favorite. Um, So, like, I tried this out before, and, like, lately I've been having to use the Neutrogena, like, eye makeup remover. But I can tell you that I did really enjoy uh, Mary Kay's eye makeup remover because, like, it removes practically everything. Like, I mean, it, it really removes everything. And... The best part is, is there's not like a lot of oils in it. Basically, she said, as you can see, it's like this itty bitty bottle right here. Um, this is the travel size, but all you got to do is just kind of shake it up and then you um, dab it onto a cotton pad or whatever. And you just rest it on your face or not on your face, but on your eye to remove eye makeup. And it like dissolves waterproof makeup. Um, and like the waterproof eyeliner, mascara or like the lovely... Wonder brow to um, eyebrow color. So that's awesome. We get some more of that to play around with. Um, and then, ooh, my goodness. Like, seriously, this is getting a little crazy. And then she also sent me um, their hydrogel eye patches, which she was telling me that they're they're really nice. She said it's almost like, um, I don't know if she, she didn't use these words specifically, but the way she described it, it's like Botox for under the eyes. It just <laughs> sucks everything back up um, and makes them so, seem that like they're not puffy or tired looking and stuff. So that should be fun to try out because um, I did tell her, you know, I might be interested in trying that out in the near future. Well, Janine or Jeanette, I'm sorry. I probably said Janine here, but Jeanette, I am so sorry. I get to try these out. Yay. I will let you know. Um, and ooh, what's this? What's this? Oh, okay. So um, Jeanette, I do know, was telling me a lot about the time wise stuff that, like, you know, it doesn't matter what age you you use this stuff, but if you want to help, like, kind of work on, like, um, if you want to start, like, with like the anti wrinkle stuff, like, there she recommended their time wise stuff, um, or their time wise line with Mary Kay because it. It almost does, like, I don't know if any of you have heard of, like, the zombie facials. I mean, some some of you out there may have. But um, it's supposed to help make the skin look younger and more refreshed and stuff. So um, she sent me two of the little, uh, or sent me one of the four-in-one cleanser, it looks like. Uh, the day cream with SPF 30 in there, which I mean, I'm always putting sunscreen on my face. I mean, you look at me, I'm a natural redhead and I like to tell people that I have to wear SPF, pardon, pardon the language here, 
holy shit, you're pale. Because literally, it's like rubbing glue into my skin. That and sun hats, sun hats, sun hats. So that and most of the time when I buy foundation, I could swear that there's maybe been some time in my lifetime where the color was called Casper the Friendly Host. So yeah, I'm pale. Um, and then it looks like she also gave me the Age Minimize 3D Night Cream, which she said that that's supposed to like help overnight and stuff. I mean, obviously it's night cream and um, the eye cream too. So that should be fun to try out too. And let's see, is there anything else in here? Oh, no, just the packing slip. So, I mean, it should be, it should, oh, and, and like if I want to reorder kind of thing, there looks like there's something else in here, you know. But yeah, it should be, um, it should be interesting to try this out and see how that works. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to try this stuff out and I can't wait, like, Probably gonna try out this stuff later on tonight. I mean, should be interesting. But as you can see, like all that's left is just more packing peanuts and stuff. So and I'm sure my roommate wouldn't appreciate me having all these boxes in the office here, which I've kind of hijacked um, for the unforeseeable future, thanks to the whole pandemic that's going on right now. Gotta love working from home. Um, so anyways, as I said before, like, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a like. Um, if you want to see like more, um, what I do maybe want to try doing once I get a little bit more comfortable is doing like makeup tutorials. Um, before I get into that, I just want to say I am not a licensed makeup artist, but I do like to play around with things. Um, not to mention there may be some, um, videos in future of more unboxings, um, as well as like talking about different subjects with um, friends of mine and stuff and, and just joking around and just general like lifestyle because I mean sometimes people just need someone out there that they feel that they can relate to and I mean I'm not like the other YouTube artists out there um, granted, there's quite a few of you that I absolutely love, but, um, I just thought that maybe people would like to see someone who's a little bit more local or kind of backcountry, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't want to offend anyone at all because that is not my intent with this whatsoever, but, um, I mean, if there's stuff that you think I should try, like, you know, leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can't incorporate it into like future videos and stuff. But we'll definitely be doing kind of a review of like these different items here in the near future just to let you know what I thought of them. Um, I mean, I don't really know how to end this sort of thing. So um, I wish you all the best and stay safe out there. And... Goodbye.